2021-2022 season previews. And today joining me is head women's volleyball coach Alicia Cleaver. Coach Cleaver, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. All right, before we talk about this upcoming season, I'm going to have you just recap a little bit of your last season. It was a good season for you guys. You guys went 17-9 and overall. You had an 8-4 and conference record. What went well for you guys? Um, I think last year for us we were very experienced. Um, we returned a lot of starters going into that season, and so that was beneficial. I think we were able to work on things early in the year that normally we weren't able to. Mm -hmm. um, you know, battling a pandemic during the season was also, you know, uh, we had to adjust through that as well. But um, I think that our leadership is what really got us through. And so I think that was something that really helped us last year is we had really strong leaders, um, great senior leaders. Um, and I think that's what really, you know, catapulted us into kind of getting over a little bit of the hump maybe that we had been facing in previous seasons. Mm -hmm. um, and so for us, I think that was big, especially in those, you know, tough games. We were able to men be, you know, mentally strong and get through some of those mm -hmm. um, tough positions, tough plays, and, you know, beat some of those teams that normally we hadn't been beating. So to touch on a little bit of those circumstances from last season, talking about the pandemic. So you had, last year was your third year. Mm -hmm. How did the pandemic kind of change your season prep from your years before? I was just a lot of different factors, I guess. Like, you know, you, sometimes you never knew who was to start until, you know, day of, mm -hmm. you never knew. Um, you know, we're, you're playing in masks, you know, just yeah. a lot of different things that were going into it. Um, you know, game prep, you start preparing for a team and then you find out day of that, you know, they're missing five starters yeah. or, you know, they're missing X, Y, and Z. And so it's just, it, it was different. Mm -hmm. um, and it was anybody's game on any given night, which, yeah. you know, normally it is, but on, you know, last year especially. And yeah. so I think for us, um, we really had to focus on ourselves more than anything and just making sure we were staying healthy um, and we were able to go out there and, you know, play our games every night. Mm -hmm. And then as you touched on, you guys had some good senior leadership last year and you're returning yeah. a lot of those seniors yeah. this year. So who's going to make, we have like Annalise Whitcomb, uh, Cameron Campbell, mm -hmm. Rebecca Eves. Yep, yeah. And BB, uh, we have a lot of seniors back for an additional year. Mm -hmm. um, and so with Rebecca, um, BB, Anna, and Cam, I'm excited because mm -hmm. they were, you know, impact players for us last year. And so for them to come back for a fifth year, um, it's only going to benefit us, especially mm -hmm. with, you know, two of them being captains and yeah. two, two of them being all conference players. It's just um, a lot of great players to have back, but great people in general. And so I'm really excited. Um, especially because we have a, a large freshman class for them to really get to learn from them yeah. and grow from them um, and it'll benefit us you know as a whole and so I'm excited for that to have that um, leadership back but I'm also glad to have them back just you know uh, their confidence their you know ability to play through tough games mm -hmm. and so I think they're you know they're all playing their best volleyball right now and I don't think they're ready to be done and so I think it helps that they have another another season to come back for um, and so we also, you know, get Corinne back, Alyssa mm -hmm. back, we have Cecily back, Simone, Macy, you know, we have all these girls that, you know, got a lot of playing time last year yeah. and they have them back again. And so I think that's going to be big for us um, to have, you know, Corinne and Alyssa in the middle and, you know, Corinne's been there since the freshman, Alyssa's yep. been there since the freshman. Um, that's going to be big for us, you know, have to have that experience. Um, I think um, Simone, who is kind of a newcomer, mm -hmm. you know, she technically hasn't used any eligibility yet. Yep. Um, and I think this is going to be a really good year for her. She just looks really strong. Mm -hmm. um, I think she's going to be a force for us. Uh, so excited to kind of debut her, I guess, this upcoming year. Um, and I think that um, we also have some newcomers, you mm -hmm. know, who could uh, make a splash for us. You know, we have a sophomore, um, Mariah, who um, played on our reserve team last year, and she's really developed in the last year. And so I'm um, excited to kind of see how she does. Um, we have another transfer coming in. Um, her name's Olivia. She's a sophomore as well. Okay. Um, she's probably 5'11 outside. She um, is a really strong player. And so I'm excited to see how she kind of meshes with our, you know, upperclassmen as well yeah. and to kind of see where she might fit in. Um, we have a, a couple of transfers um, on the right side and middle as well who mm -hmm. I think are going to be fighting for some time. And so I think our depth is there. Um, and so I'm really excited to, to really see um, what kind of, you know, comes full circle here in the next couple weeks. Yeah. Well, it's going to be exciting to see some familiar faces come back, and we're excited to see some of those newcomers try to put their mark on William Penn as well. Yeah. And you're, you guys open your season next weekend, and you have a four games next weekend, right? Yeah, in Hutchinson, Kansas. Yeah, Friday, Saturday tournament. Um, so it'll be nice uh, to kind of open up, you know, play some teams that we haven't really mm -hmm. seen before um, and kind of get our feet wet. But hopefully, yeah. you know, we can uh, develop here in the next week and get things going. Well, excited to get you guys off and rolling next weekend. And unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit of a break until we get to see you back at home. I believe your home opener is September 4th. Yes. So, before that, 
before we get you off and rolling here. Do you have anything you want to say to Sage Nation? Yeah, like you said, home opener is September 4th. Come on out. Um, we're really excited to be able to, you know, have our fans back and hopefully get, um, you know, the pack rocking and rolling for our home opener. Well, that's going to be just about all from me and Coach Cleaver. Coach, thank you for joining me today. Thank you. This has been the season preview for the 2021 women's volleyball season. We're going to catch you next time for yet another season preview here on the Statesman Sports Network.